Putin with Donald Trump. Well, let me tell you this. I am a Marxist. I am a left winger. So is Piers Corbyn. As the government <laughs> says, there's some coronavirus legislation we need to follow. If they want to arrest people, go around the whole of Hyde Park. See who's in groups are more than two, because all of them are breaking the rules. And when the police pull off their uniform and go home, they also break the rules. So don't say there's one more for you and one more for us. We have the right to gather here. We have the right to speak here. And you're not going to stop us by harassing people, lying to them that you've got powers you don't have and violently mistreated people. Two weeks ago, I was arrested here when Tommy Robinson was here. I was dragged to the floor. My arms were handcuffed. I couldn't get circulation to my left arm. On Thursday of that week, I was arrested on a demonstration in Charing Cross Road. Once again, the police dragged me to the floor, cuffed me behind my back, carried me 400 metres, using my arms as a means to put the strain against my arms behind my back. The, the police nurses looked at my bruises on my arm and they told me if I get pins and needles in the next week or so in my hand, I must go immediately to the emergency department of the hospital. That is what these people are doing in the name of coronavirus. They don't even bother to say the legislation. They just turn around to people and say, uh, I'm arresting you coronavirus. Corona. They don't even say what the actual thing you're supposed to banish. Corona. 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 They don't even know what it is themselves. Right. The law in Britain says, the bill has said, the British government have said that anyone who has got a positive PCR test is a corona case. Corona is not measured by PCR tests. The PCR test detects whether or not you have a virus in your body. It doesn't mean the virus is active, it doesn't mean it can infect you, it doesn't mean you're ill. And yet, on that basis, they have been saying to us that we are, that the people are corona cases. They are not corona cases. 80% of the people they call corona cases are not sick. They have nothing wrong with them. They're asymptomatic and they cannot transmit. The numbers the government's announcing every day about the number of people dying from coronavirus or with coronavirus are lies. They are not true facts. 95% of the people who die, supposedly from or with coronavirus, would be killed by any virus and if they come the police. Anyone got Benny Hill music? <laughs> Let's have some Benny Hill music, please. Anyone on their... On their So, the idea that they can prevent us from gathering this people's freedom just because they're fancy that this is a good thing to do is a nonsense. We have the right to gather, we have the right to speak, we have the right to discuss. By the way, in case anyone thinks I'm trying to break the rules, I'm not. I'm an educator, I have a doctorate, and I'm teaching people what I have learned over six months about the coronavirus. You can check back from the 9th of March. I spoke here at Speaker's Corner long before the government dared say anything about it. And I explained the dangers of coronavirus. I called for a lockdown long before the government called for a lockdown. We broadcast a video on Double Down Media that went out to the public. Mill uh, hundreds of thousands of people saw it. Warning of coronavirus three weeks before the government did anything about it. And then they want to tell us that we can't speak at Speaker's Corner. And then the latest thing is to say, anyone who is against the present vaccine is somehow a dangerous person. They don't mention that when swine flu happened in 2009, governments across Europe bought swine flu vaccines, they injected people, and 2,000 people, young, healthy people, came down with narcolepsy. That means you collapse suddenly into deep sleep in a normal waking state, suddenly collapse. So the idea that vaccines, when they're rushed out 
as this one has been with only a few months of testing. And that is a, something that we shall run up to queue up to take is a complete and absolute lie. Pfizer is a vaccine and a pharmaceutical company linked with giant scale pharmaceutical industries whose business is to make profits out of the health, or better said, out of supposedly treating the health of people. But in reality, Pfizer has been involved in a number of legal cases where they have undermined the health of the people. They've got something to do this. I understand last week, when we were here and harassed by the police, at the other end of the park, there were 5,000 Biden supporters chanting and dancing and singing. How come you arrested us at Speaker's Corner, but you didn't arrest Joe Biden supporters? How come that happened? Would you like to explain that, officers? Or do you not have an answer? Are you just goons for the ruling elites? Are you just goons for the latest decision of the government? What are you doing in a row like that? What are we, in danger? I'm just speaking and using my voice. Everybody please keep social distance. I don't want to be accused of encouraging anyone to break social distance. In fact, as I said, I was one of the very first people in Speaker's Corner advocating for a lockdown. So given the fact we were more on top, we were on top of what was happening. Given the fact, given the fact, given the fact, what's going on? No, I think it's fine. So here comes the band. Benny Hill music, please. <laughs>